welcome back, guys, to Steven's DIY Auto. All right, guys, and we are back, and we're here in this 2020 Toyota Camry TRD, and we have 29,833 miles on the clock. And today, guys, we're going to be doing a oil change and a multi-point inspection. The customer, which is a really good friend of ours, um, is requesting a oil change. He's due for an oil change, and he also wants us to do a multi-point inspection. Uh, he wants to take care of his vehicle, so he wants us to see if there's anything else that he might need. So guys, this is going to be a little bit different than our normal videos. Normally, we bring you along for the ride, and we're talking as we're going. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm kind of curious if how this video is going to come out so bear with me we're uh we're both going to be trying it out together so we're going to see how this comes out so anyway guys 2020 toyota camry trd so guys just be aware i didn't get to record every single step like i normally do uh, so we'll go ahead and try to talk and let you guys know what we did uh, even though we're not going to show you uh, we got the main parts down, so hopefully that'll work. So anyway, guys, I do apologize ahead of time. This is not like our normal videos, but we'll see how this goes. So anyway, guys, put it in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh, if we should do some more similar type of videos like this or stick with our regular content. But anyway, guys, we still got the meat and potatoes down. So as always, it, oil changes are pretty similar. So it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. So without rambling on any further, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay guys, so first up, we have our vehicle up in the air. As you see, the jack goes underneath the middle cross member. And then you're gonna have these underbody panels. There's just one that you need to take off, which is the one you're seeing here in the video. So it's very simple guys. You got one underbody panel that you really have to take off which is uh, underneath and it's restricting you from getting to your oil filter and your oil filter housing so it's just one panel it's a couple if I'm not mistaken 10 millimeter screws with uh, one or two plastic clips pull those off and it comes down very late very easily uh, there's another panel that's closer to where underneath the radiator that panel does not have to come off, although if you want to take it off, more than welcome to. It gives you a little bit more breathing room under there, but it's not necessary for it to come off. So once you get it off, then you could go ahead and access your oil filter and your oil filter housing. Okay, after that, now we're going to move on to the oil drain plug and draining out the oil. Okay guys, so now we're going to be draining out our oil from our oil filler or our oil drain plug here you see here it's a it's a 14 millimeter we're cracking it loose struggling a little bit but we got it cracked loose now we're gonna put the oil drain pan underneath so that we can drain our oil still a little hot um, my, the customer drove it over so it's, it's a little hot, so you want to be careful. Here we're spinning off the drain plug and making a little bit of a mess. I apologize for that. The oil shot out a lot faster than what we were expecting, but now we got it draining out. Okay, now we're moving on to the oil filter and housing. So you're going to take a 3 8 inch dry ratchet like you see here and we're cracking the oil filter drain plug as you can see right there. Crack that loose so that we can drain out our oil filter housing so that we can remove the oil filter without making a complete mess. I apologize for the camera angles and stuff low production here guys very low production here <laughs> so there we removed the plug 
So the new oil filter will come with this plastic thing as you see here. And you're going to push it in until it clicks. I have a little bit of a hard time with it. But once you push it into where it clicks, then it will start draining out the oil from your oil filter housing. So I still don't, now I have it in completely. Um, it's drained pretty, it drained pretty good but you're gonna to wanna to wait for a click. So here we have it removed and as you can see the gasket came with it so that's a plus. You wanna make sure that that gasket comes out before you install the new one. So here guys we're using Toyota's specialty tool by Capri in order to remove our oil filter housing so that we can reinstall a new oil filter in the housing so it's it was on there pretty tight but we were able to get it so before we move on I would like to note that if you see in the video prior um, I would I went ahead and reinstalled the oil filter housing drain plug back in with the new gasket I didn't I apologize I didn't show that but I did reinstall the drain plug with the new gasket and got that torqued down before I removed the actual housing so we'll go ahead and continue to move on. So here we'll be using a genuine Lexus Toyota genuine part. There's the part number for you guys and there's the oil filter cartridge. It did, there's the old oil filter cartridge and we installed the new one as you can see there and we put a new gas, the new uh, O-ring on it, the new gasket on it you want to make sure to install it correctly right there not at the very bottom So even if you guys get an aftermarket oil filter cartridge it's still gonna come with the two gaskets and the clear plastic little thing that you guys see me stick into the oil filter housing to drain out the oil from the oil filter housing uh, most of your aftermarket uh, oil filter cartridges will come with that uh, we use Toyota just because it was pretty much on sale the same price as some aftermarket ones and why not use genuine Toyota OEM, OEM products in the Toyota so that's why we went with that pretty much it guys uh, after that we uh, went ahead and torqued down our oil filter housing using our Capri specialty oil filter wrench we torqued it down to spec we torqued our drain bolt uh, we put in approximately five quarts of oil um, we continued on with our multi-point inspection basically we checked over everything uh, on the car we did find that the vehicle needed new front brakes and rotors um, I recommended for sure brakes um, also advised rotors would be also good to have um, the vehicle has never had any brakes or rotors since it was purchased. So that was our recommendation It looks like our customer is going to go ahead and uh, do that in the near future So other than that we found uh, we really didn't find anything. It's a 2020 vehicle still in pretty good shape So that was really all we found on our multi-point inspection uh, If you guys are interested in us doing a multi-point inspection and wh what we kind of do with that feel free to put it in the comment section below and maybe we'll do a complete video on how we approach a multi-point inspection uh, but anyway guys after the multi-point inspection uh, we dropped the vehicle down uh, checked for leaks well before we dropped the vehicle down we ran it checked for leaks no leaks were found which is great and then we uh, dropped the vehicle checked the oil level topped it off we ended up putting a total of six quarts uh, just under six quarts that's about what uh, the it's recommended for a drain and oil filter replacement so there you have it guys a um, little bit new Here's your oil change in a 2020 Toyota Camry TRD so there you go guys I know it wasn't very detailed like we normally do but for the most part uh, oil changes are pretty much similar the only difference with some of these uh, newer cam uh, newer Toyotas is they have that specialty filter or I'm sorry the specialty oil wrench that you have to use to get the filter housing off 
Now, I know in one of my comments, some of the comments from one of my other videos that I did on a Toyota truck, some, some were saying that mechanics don't like to use that tool because it can break the or crack the oil filter housing and they use just a regular um, wrench to do it. I so far have not had any luck in doing that. Uh, the very first time I ran across this uh, with the customer, I did not have the specialty oil filter wrench um, in order to combat the Toyota design. And we tried a regular, uh, we tried several different oil filter wrenches to get that off. And I felt like I was going to crack the housing. So we just did not even do it. It was an add-on that a customer wanted one day. We were happy to do it, but we ran across that we were not able to remove that housing because we didn't have the proper tool. So instead of going through and trying and possibly damaging it and then creating a bigger problem, we just told the customer we were unable to do it. So I don't know about you guys out there. If anybody's had any luck getting those off without the specialty tool, put it in the comment section below because the the one and only time I tried, I almost damaged the housing and we just stopped there and I ended up purchasing the, the two tools. It comes in two different sizes from Capri. Um, so we bought those and the twice now that we used them, we never had an issue with breaking or cracking the housing. So there you have it guys. What is your thoughts and opinions on that? Uh, it's, it's kind of a cool design it creates less mess but it creates more tools to purchase and just more stuff to do but what's your guys thoughts on that so anyway guys there you have it there is a, an oil change in a 2020 toyota camry trd so hopefully you guys like this video if you guys did make sure to go down there and hit that like button also a lot of my views are coming from non-subscribers so if you haven't already please go down there and hit that subscribe button it takes a few seconds I would greatly appreciate it and it helps out the channel grow so anyway guys as always if you like this video make sure to hit that like button if you would like to be notified when i put out another video make sure to ring that bell notification and as always guys please subscribe to my channel for more informational videos and diy projects and as always guys until next time have a good one